off on another adventure to Myanmar. Bagan, located in central Myanmar, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site occupying an impressive 26 square miles. This area is replete with thousands of pagodas and stupas built by the kings of Bagan dating back to the 11th to 13th century. This was before their kingdom was swept away by earthquakes in Kublai Khan. Some 2,200 of the original 10,000 structures have survived. We're on a quest to find the temple that we're going to at sunset. One never knows if you're on the right small road. You could film a fabulous movie is what we're oh. talking about before we crash. <laughs> That, that, that surface. Absolutely beautiful. Whoa! Until we... Did you say great driver? Almost every morning we hopped on our e-bike and got lost to discover the off-the-radar villages, stupas, and pagodas. We were also looking for the best location for sunset. By noon, it was scorching hot, so we typically returned to the hotel pool for the remainder of the afternoon waiting for the temperatures to drop a few degrees and the sun to lose some of its intensity. In the evening, we set out once again to find the tallest hill to observe the sunset. Bagan has been hit by many earthquakes over the centuries, continually damaging and destroying temples, reducing them to heaps of ancient rubble. The most recent earthquake in 2016 damaged 400 temples, and work to repair them is now ongoing. In the past, most of the temples were climbable and perfect places to watch the sunset, but due to the earthquakes and the instability of the structures, it is now banned to climb any temples. So, most tourists can be found on this small berm at sunset. We are approaching the largest temple in Bagan, and it was built by King Narathru in 1170. It's known as the Evil Temple because Narathru became king of Bagan after murdering his father and his brother. As you can read, the brickwork was done with great precision. The story goes that King Narathru had the laborers killed or their hands chopped off if the work was not done perfectly. To enter a pagoda or temple, every visitor must remove his shoes and socks and walk barefoot. Additionally, shoulders and knees must also be covered. Known as the most beautiful temple in Bagan, Ananda Temple's most popular feature is its four standing Buddhas. Also notice, Brown and I swapped sarongs so that he was able to visit the temple. If only you could have seen the face of our guide trying to explain to the temple guards why Brown was wearing a female sarong and I a men's. One thing you'll notice is that all of the locals wear a white yellowish cream on their face. It's a paste made from the stump of a thanaka tree. The stump is ground on a wet circular stone slab and directly placed on the face. The texture of the cream is a little bit silky and is known to be an effective sun protector and it also contains a cooling property, which really helps in the heat of the day. Okay, not so bad. Oh. Oh. So, so they're making a spring roll. Okay. So it's a very challenging walk. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Consistency. It's a good experience, man. That is amazing. <laughs> he has to get that stuff just right. Yeah. Be nice if we could find a temple out here. Yeah. Where are they? 
Oh, they must be hiding. <laughs> Miss this little restaurant street. 